Hey, I'm Emil, the Practical Engineer, and today is the last video of the Pinball Machine mini-series. I'll be doing a digital display over here for the scoring system, and I'll be putting in a plexiglass panel, some covers underneath, and give a full roundup of the machine. using a multi-tool for this because with the, everything on the play field it's really hard to use a jigsaw or something else so probably better to use a jigsaw but then you have to do it before everything is on I came up with this after so then this is a really cool option <laughs> Quick overview, we have the push button over here, this one activates the solenoid there which shoots the ball all the way to the launcher and this solenoid fire, this button registers it and tells the scoring system it's a new game. Then we have the flipper buttons which activate the flippers, then we move upwards a bit, here we have the targets, there are 50 and minus 10 points, over here we have the switches that we just installed that when you pass over them you get either 30 or 20 points and in this triangle I have the switches for 20 points and on the back here which is really hard to reach I have 50 points so that's about it now it's time to do the scoring system over here <laughs> give aluminum a really nice brush look by just scrubbing it with some 180 grit or 240 grit sandpaper and it looks way more finished instantly. You could also go up to 1000 grit and get a really like more matte finished but I go for the brushed version. The display panel is done, I can mount it, but for now I'm just gonna put it in with some drops of hot glue because I'm not sure if I can put a plexiglass panel in when this is mounted. I think I can, but I just want to make sure. So the scoring system is in place. Next thing we need to do is we need to wire all these switches over here to this Arduino. So Let's play some music and I go to work.
Over here we have the 12 volts for the flippers. They do its own thing. There's only the switch going for the new game. And here this is just scoring. So basically two separate systems. These switches are wired to this terminal block and from this terminal block they go to the Arduino. I like to do it with this block in between because if you have to change things it's all kind of in the same place. Move the temporary bracket I put here for aligning this parts and I had to undo the zip ties on these things to get the panel through. It seems like I can leave this one in place so that's that's very nice. I have my panel over here. I'm gonna do a test fit first before I take the plastic off because if I need to cut it it's really nice if you have this still on. I cannot leave the panel in so It fits like a glove, so I'm gonna take the panel out, glue in the skirt, I think it's called, uh, the cover underneath here, and take the backing plastic off, and it's starting to look like a real pinball machine. <laughs> Almost forgot to put this one in. get these little blocks in the place I want them. I place the back panel where I want it and now I'm gonna put a little dab of hot glue on here to hold it in its position and then I can screw it without having to worry about uh, if I measured it right if they are parallel and so just a just a drop of hot glue as a clamp basically. <laughs> doesn't need much, just a tiny bit is more than enough. So also if you use only a tiny bit it cools down a lot quicker because there's less mass that's really warm. So you don't have to hold it as long. Over here I use the pre-drilled holes in here to make the holes for the screws. So also that saves a lot of measuring. If you want to build a pinball machine like this yourself, I have a highly detailed set of plans available on my website that takes you through the whole build process. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, watch the videos over here and don't forget, dare to experiment and have fun creating. See you next week.